Hi friends, in this session, let's continue to the next task in the project that is sending email notifications to the respective users upon package execution status, whether it's a failure or a success. In real time, when we work on the org for the organization, they usually have an SMTP server set up, right? So we can use that SMTP server configuration in send mail task. This is a built-in send mail task which is useful to send emails using organization's SMTP server. So it allows Windows authentication and anonymous authentication. So now we are practicing, we can't use, we don't have SMTP server to practice this type of scenario, right? So that's why today I'm going to show you how to use SSIS to send email from our Gmail personal account. So in this session, let's see how to use SSIS to send email using Gmail account, right? So the task that supports sending email using Gmail account is script task. So let's drag that script task into package designer and then open script task. Now use, you can use Visual C Sharp or Visual Basic here. So I'm going to use Visual C Sharp code because I'm going, I'm going to write Visual C Sharp code in the in this editor, script task editor. So, so before we're going to use read-only variables or read-write variables, so let's identify what variables we need for this task. So the variables that we need for this task are obviously we have we should have an from email address and we should have a to email address and we need a password for 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 login into gmail account right so we have we should declare three variables for this so let's go to variables now now create new variable by clicking on this and then here in variable let's use email from address now because it's a string, select string. And then I want to use my Gmail account that is hello.wordbe at gmail.com. And then let's create another variable and that call it as email to go to string. And I want to send email to uh, my another email account that is ssis.wordbe at gmail.com. And then I'm going to use my password, password, and it's a string. We don't have that inbuilt functionality to encrypt password in SSIS, but we have a mechanism to encrypt, decrypt our passwords, but uh, that's a bit complex. I'm going to cover that in the later sessions. So for now, for your practice, we can use a password in this way but it's only for development it's not a good practice at all in organization obviously they have their own smtp and then ssis supports their smtp so we can use the default built-in task that is send mail task in ssis to configure and send email easily okay so but for now for our practice let's use gmail account and then you can have your password stored in this variable so password my password let's say my password ssis demo okay so we have declared three variables and you can declare here in email too you can have uh, if you want to send email to multiple users then you can include that like with semicolon separated like this semicolon and then another email id semicolon another email id like that you can use concatenated list with semicolon separated Okay, so let's go to our script task now. Package and then open. And then since all our variables are read-only, we can use read-only variables here. So let's map those variables in read-only variables like select password that we have created just now and email to and email from from here click ok now click edit the script it opens an editor like this now first let's go to namespace here here 
now expand this namespace and include uh, our prerequisite DLLs before we use SMTP send mail related functions. So namespaces that supports send mail task in SSIS is using system.net.mail and using system.net. So you can use these two import namespaces before we use those functions. So now let's go to our main. Now you can add your code here. So remove the comments and then the function, the object that supports sending email from SMTP Gmail account or any other account is SMTP client. So let's declare that variable here, SMTP client and SMTP equal to new SMTP client of double quotes SMTP dot gmail dot com comma 587. So that's a default port for Gmail SMTP setting. And then semicolon ends with semicolon. C sharp code ends with semicolon. Now SMTP dot enable SSL. So Gmail takes SSL configuration. Now it's true. Now SMTP dot delivery method equal to SMTP delivery method dot network. Now SMTP dot use default credentials equal to false because I want to specify our own a separate email, right? So it's not default. So SMTP dot credentials equal to new network credentials of our mail ID here. So our mail ID here, we can get our mail ID from our variable, right? So to read variable from our SSIS variable, let's specify the DTS variables, variables, and then object is our user email from dot value dot to string comma and then our password so password is also like this right so copy that variable here and then paste it here now change email from to password and then semicolon so it gets email from from this from our SSIS variables and then password from our SSIS variable. And then go to SMTP uh, timeout setting, just in case if it takes long than default time, then it exceeds, it's overwrite that value 20,000. And then mail message, message equal to new mail message. We have to declare our mail message message is body HTML, right? I want to send an HTML email. So that's why I want to keep is body HTML. Yes, I want to keep that message dot from equal to new mail address of that mail address. I want to send mail from you can actually use a different email ID from uh, with network credentials. Okay. So you can use a different user, but I wanna, in my case, I might, I'm gonna use the same email ID. So email ID is email from and closing this. And then, and then I'm gonna use email too for sending email for recipients. So now declare a variable that is string. I wanna declare a variable email to addresses addresses because two list may contain multiple users right so that's why i'm gonna declare another variable that is email to addresses and i'm 
reading that value from email to email to and then semicolon email to it's a concatenated list so we have to split that into a list right so in order to do that let's use for each here and then where address in addresses dot split new and then starting like this and then string split options dot remove empty entries so now let's starting brace and ending brace for this block and a message dot two dot add of address single address so so it's adding to so right message dot from this is message dot from and this is message dot to so i'm adding all the emails that we have declared in this variable to message to object okay so it adds it splits our concatenated list from email to variable and then it's it adds as an array to message dot to object so then it can be able to send deliver emails to this whole list that we have declared in email to so this is how we split for each means it loops through all the split that we have that it has done and then it remove the empty entries if there are any and then it adds that address to message dot two so this is how it works and then let's uh, define another that let's message dot subject obviously we have to specify the subject and now you can also have another variable to use this subject but for now i'm gonna use um, a subject as test ssis package for now email and then message dot body equal to test ssis package email message now we are done with the message variables declaration and then smtp dot send message so let's uh, so here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do sending email from email from and then email to list and then i'm gonna just testing before i use a variable here in the subject and body so that's it so this is the code c sharp code that we have to use to send email using ssis and our gmail account so let's test this code now now save our code now close this now click ok to save into ssis now let's go and execute this task right click on the script task and execute so it obviously give an error because gmail by default doesn't support uh, low security apps so it gives us an email message to our email address it's showing smtp server requires a secure connection or the client was not authenticated right so let's stop this and go to your gmail and then enter your password now you should receive an email like this from gmail so it shows sign in attempt was blocked so ssis able to connect to gmail smtp server by using our personal account but google has blocked them because of security purpose so let's check the activity now 
now it's accessed from an unknown device new yes it was me declare that it was me and then less secure app locked right so let's click on learn more to enable that less secure access if less secure access is on for your account okay now click on this now go to less secure app access now you should enable it then only we will be able to send an email using SSIS so this might not be a good practice obviously we are allowing access uh, less secure app access on our Gmail account but for your practice purpose until you have done with the, your practice you can use uh, Gmail and you can enable it allow less secure apps on setting for your practice purpose once your practice is done you can disable this access now let's uh, enable it and then go to your package again and then try to execute this now it should send an email so it's successful now go to your gmail again and then go to here so it obviously i used it different to email address right so let's go to another email your to email list then you should be able to see that message here we go hello.wordb sent an email that is test SSIS package email and test SSIS package email message right so this is how we can use SSIS script to task to send email from our Gmail account